Cody Rhodes has announced some devastating news in front of a live crowd, revealing he had suffered an injury at the hands of Jacob Fatu. Plus, Matt Hardy hints at a Hardy Boys return in WWE in the very near future. But... With that said, let's jump right into the Matt Hardy of it all. And with the Hardy Boys returning to WWE. And yes, this is amazing. A lot of people want to see this. We've seen them reunite recently. So hearing that Matt Hardy and Jeff want to come back to WWE uh, is very exciting for a lot of WWE fans. And this is exactly what he said here on the Busted Open Radio uh, he said, I almost feel Jeff and I were, we end up returning to WWE, do something small, and then go on to the Hall of Fame. That's a best case scenario. So, you know, delete, delete, delete. Matt Hardy wants him and Jeff to end up in the WWE Hall of Fame. And I really do believe that they will. They It is well deserved. I mean, one of the best tag teams of all time, in my opinion. Great, some great ladder match moments from both of these guys. Some great just in general tag moments from um, the Hardy Boys. And hearing that Matt and Jeff want to return to WWE would be amazing. Obviously, we've seen them, I guess, a few years ago now. I don't know how long it was when they returned at WrestleMania. It was a big pop. Everybody was really excited. But now they're kind of on the, the last chapter of their career, it looks like. So... Seeing them maybe coming to WWE to do something small is very exciting. I think this WWE tag division right now needs the Hardy Boys. I think it's a tag division that's kind of dwindling at the moment. I mean, we have A-Town Down Under and the Awesome Truth as champions. But now, with the Bloodline and the Wyatt Six being involved, that's possibly two new tag teams there that will be involved in this division but I think the tag team division for a long time has needed some uh, revitalization and I think bringing back the Hardy Boys for one more last run or maybe a short run would really help put the tag team division on the map and help you know the Hardy Boys help these young tag teams get their name out there and get people you know, excited for tag team matches again. I think right now it's kind of at the low point that it's been for a very long time. And I think bringing such a, you know, established and esteemed tag team like the Hardy Boys back would be really fun. Uh, I would love to see uh, the, the guys back here and just maybe we... Uh, see them come out as a mystery opponent like they did last time or something like this maybe we see them in a tag team ladder match a six pack ladder match would be uh really fun to see the hardy boys involved in that and i i think that you know you bring them back maybe you put the belt on them one more time have a little short stint build up some of these you know young tag teams that are, are trying to become you know top tier and i think that would be the best case scenario for the hardy boys and there's no doubt about it in my mind that the hardy boys end up in the hall of fame at the end of this like i said one of the greatest tag teams of our generation well and i mean jeff hardy i mean what a talent he is i mean he's really one of those wrestlers that when you go talk to a random person on the street and you say jeff hardy if they've never watched wwe I'm sure they know what the, what a Swanton Bomb is. I'm sure they've seen the Edge Spear off the top of the ladder. Because th those are just moments that just go beyond wrestling. And people who may never watch wrestling just see those moments on their timeline, on social media, in the news. Because it's just moments that, that surpass WWE. And I think Jeff Hardy and Matt Hardy... Both deserve a place in the Hall of Fame. But I want to hear your guys' thoughts on that down below. I'm sure there's not going to be a lot of you guys that disagree with that down below in the comment section. But And let's get into the main topic of the video today, which is Cody Rhodes injured. And yes, we've seen uh, on Friday Night SmackDown, Jacob Fatu make his long-awaited debut where he beat up the likes of RKO, Randy Orton, and Kevin Owens, and then hit this amazing frog splash onto Cody Rhodes on the announce table and then the, I believe it was the next day uh, at a live event it was at a live event where he defended his title against Shinsuke Nakamura he got on the mic and said and revealed that he actually got injured from this spot with 
uh, Jacob Fatu saying he has suffered two broken ribs. A lot of people are saying maybe this is kayfabe. Maybe this isn't real. Maybe they're playing the Cody Rhodes injury uh, storyline going into the big match with him and Solo at SummerSlam, which does make sense. But then a lot of other people are saying maybe he actually is injured because we've seen Cody do anything for the fans. We've seen him wrestle with a torn peck so lots two broken ribs to go out and wrestle for especially you know if you know you have this injury and your opponent in Shinsuke Nakamura who is you know a veteran he'll know how to pull off a great match without aggravating that injury but uh, in my opinion I'm not quite sure on this I think it could be kayfabe it, it, we've just seen so many frog splashes onto the announce table where there hasn't been any injuries but maybe there was, it, it was landed awkwardly or something like that, but in my eyes, it didn't really look like that in real time, and when I went back and watched the clip before recording this video, I couldn't really see a point in that frog splash where it could lead to injury, so I'm thinking right now that it is kayfabe, I'm leaning more on that side, but it could definitely be real, and if it is real, I mean, I mean, that plays big into Cody Rhodes. I mean, obviously, he's the champ right now. I don't know if they were setting up a championship match for him at Money in the Bank. It didn't really look like it with him and Solo and the Bloodline feuding. Maybe they were trying to set up the six-man tag match between uh, Cody, RKO, and the new Bloodline or something like this for Money in the Bank. That kind of looked like a possibility but they could all obviously run that on a Friday Night Smackdown obviously next week it is in MSG so it's going to be another stacked card so a match like this could happen at a place like MSG at Madison Square Garden but I don't know it's kind of tough to see because you know obviously if he has two broken ribs I mean that's you know, a, 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 a big injury, I, I, I would say, especially when you're going into a big title defense at SummerSlam. Could he be fully recovered from this injury by SummerSlam? Yes, I don't think 100%, but I think he could be almost there. I think, I'm not sure the timetable on broken ribs. I'm not a doctor, but uh, uh, we've, see, we've seen him in that, in that picture. I'll just bring it up uh, again for you guys where, it, where he has the mic in his hand and he has his, ta his abdomen taped up. So maybe it's kayfabe. Maybe they're playing into the injury angle. Maybe... That's something that's just building up the new bloodline, which it very much could be because they're trying to give so much heat to the bloodline now, especially with Jacob Fatu coming in. I mean, that added a lot of momentum on their side. So maybe Cody's going to play this injury angle and that's just the way it's going to work out to be. But in my opinion, I think this is all kayfabe. I think it's just, you know, him saying, him kind of pumping up Jacob Fatu a little bit, or the WWE pumping up Jacob Fatu a little bit by saying, hey, this guy came in out of nowhere, injured the champ, taken, took out RKO. I mean, this guy is just a beast, and I think that's the way they're going. But on the other hand, it, like I said, it could have, it could be an injury, and if it is an injury, we don't want to see that happen. You never want to see anybody injured uh, in the world of wrestling. So hopefully he does recover quickly. If this is real and if this is, you know, an actual injury, uh, but we all know Cody's a dog. He's going to wrestle through it. He wrestled through a torn peck, so lots two bro broken ribs. So I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. What side of the coin are you on? Are you on he's actually injured or are you on the kayfabe side like me? Because it didn't really look like an injury. Let us know down below in the comment section. We're going to get in everybody's favorite topic here, which is... Comment of the day, and the comment of the day today goes to Big LJR, and LJR says Roman has the Usos and will bring bring back Sami Zayn uh, and introduce uh, Haiku, Haiku Leo, sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong, and he says as their new enforcer, and he says against Solo, uh, Tamatanga, Tangaloa, and Zilla Fatu. He said book it for Survivor Series. I mean, this would just... Be amazing. It, like I said, it would kind of be the Avengers Endgame of uh, the Bloodline. I think that would be a fun match to see. A lot of people are suspecting Rock will be involved in this match, but I don't think so. I think The Rock is more of a WrestleMania kind of guy. I don't think he comes back for Survivor Series, but he pretty well could. Who knows? Uh, but if he comes back, it's more going to be along the lines of him and Cody Rhodes. Not 
with involved with the bloodline i don't think so i would love to see this match uh, i think roman coming back with the usos and zane at his side i uh, would be fun to see those guys reunite kind of have roman a as a face again uh, the big dog that, that would be cool as well uh, against the new bloodline who are looking pretty dominant and who else to stop them but the one and only, the true tribal chief, Roman Reigns. But if you want, what are your guys' thoughts on this match? Who do you think else is going to be introduced into this Bloodline storyline? Let us know down below in the comment section. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure down below, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button as well. Uh, you know, we're on the road for 3,000 subscribers here on the channel. I can't believe we're this far with the, with the channel right now. If you don't want to miss out on anything that's happening around the WWE, make sure down below and hit that subscribe button. Uh, also, uh, comment on the video. You might be featured on the next comment of the day, just like our guy LJR here. We love reading all your guys' comments and takes about the wrestling world uh, down below in the comment section. If you want to check out a video I did yesterday talking about Zilla Fatu coming in uh, to the new Bloodline, it'll be popping up on your screen right now. But as always, I've been your host, KC. We'll catch you in the next one.